by using digital sum. Next one, I think this is also easy. Find the compound interest on rupees. Principal is 31,250. For two years set 12, 12 percentage per annum. Annum is 12 months. Annum is 12 months. But it is compounded at 8 months. Compounded at 8 months. So this will become 2 by 3. 4 twos are 4 threes are. It is effective rate of percentage is 8 percentage for 8 months. Effective rate of interest is 8 percentage for 8 months. So principal is 31,250. 8 months on 100 increase, it is 108. 8 months, again 100 increase 8. Again 100 increase 8. Amount digital sum is 9. 9 into any number. Principal digital sum is 1. Principal digital sum is 1. Amount it is 9. What do we require? Compound interest. Amount minus principal. 9 minus 1, it should be 8. Answer digital sum is 8. These 8 plus 1, it is 7. 7. 8 plus 1, it is 6. 8, right? 8 plus 1, 6 plus 2, 8. 8, 2, 1, 6. Such an easy question. You can solve this question very, very easily if your fundamentals are extremely good. Extremely good. I hope these idea it is clear. Nothing I did. Just I calculated it proportionally. 12 months it is. 12 percentage, 8 months it is 8 percentage. So on the initial value, 3 times I did. Why I did 3 times? Because it is for 2 years, 8 months, 8 months, 8 months. Compounding is done thrice. Compounding is done thrice. I hope this example clear. This example also, all these examples are extremely important, sir. The amount received at 10 percentage per annum. 10 percentage per annum on 100 per annum compounded after 4 years on 100 10 increase first year on 100 10 increase second year on 100 10 increase third year on 100 10 increase fourth year into principal into principal it is the final amount it is the final amount final amount how much it is 136 893.35. I am sure you can solve this question. P into 2 power 4, 16 divided by 1. Divided by 1 equivalent to 9 it is out. Very, very easy. 9 it is out. 6 plus 3 it is out. 5 plus 3 plus 1 also it is out. The remaining is 8 plus 3, 11. 11 is nothing but 2. 11 is so here 9 out 5 plus 3 8 8 7 are 56 5 plus 6 11 1 plus 1 2 all are not possible not possible you can cross check it 8 plus 6 plus 4 is 18 out 5 7 are 35 3 plus 5 8 not possible 2 plus 5 7 7 7 are 49 not possible 7 plus 5 12 12 is 3 3 7 are 21 2 plus 1 3 all the problems this problem, this, 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 all these, I hope, all the examples are crystal clear to you with not a single doubt in it. If more than one answers option have got the same digital sum, that also we will discuss. Next one, this also over. The compound interest on a certain sum in 2.5 years, 2.5 years, First year it is 10 percentage, second year it is 10 percentage, third year, third year 0.5 years is 6 months, one year it is 10 percentage, half year it is 5 percentage, okay. The compound interest is given by 1623, so amount is principal into 110 by 100, 110 increase, 110 increase, 105 increase, 105 by 100, 105 by 100. So this is P. Suppose if I take 5000, 5000, 5 into 2 into 2 into 105, it is 6. 
Five fours are twenty. Two two six are twelve. It is three. It is three. Amount is three. Amount is three. Principal is one. CI will be two. According to five thousand, CI is two. Six plus three nine. Two plus one is three. That means principal. What I assumed is incorrect. What I assumed is incorrect. Or you can do like this. CI is amount minus principal. P into P into one ten by hundred into one ten by hundred into hundred and five by hundred minus P. So P into P into two into two into. I hope you are understanding by one minus one. P into two two zero four four six zero twenty four. Twenty-four. It is six. Six minus one. It is five. P into five should give me compound interest. Compound interest to digital sum is three. Am I right? P into five. P into five. Substitute which one is giving you three. P first option five thousand. Five thousand into five is twenty-five. Two plus five seven. Six thousand. Six into five thirty. Thirty. It is nothing but three. In case if you are unable to do like this, directly go to this step. CI is given by amount minus principal. CI is given by amount minus principal. Another one. This question is based on weighted averages. Weighted averages. Weighted averages. First, read the question. How to apply digital sum in weighted average related problems? Weighted average related problems. Giri bias. Fourteen sarees, fourteen sarees at an average cost of eight thirty-five. Average is defined as sum of the quantities by number of the quantities. Number of sarees he bought are fourteen, and average cost is eight thirty-five. So sum he has invested is eight thirty-five into fourteen. Am I right? Eight thirty-five into fourteen. These one si kind of sarees. If he buys eleven sarees more, again he bought eleven sarees more. How much? At another quality six forty-five. So another. Let me n two. Yes, n two is defined as six forty-five into eleven. First fourteen sarees. The total sum is eight thirty-five into fourteen. The second eleven sarees, the total sum he invested is six forty five into eleven. What is the average cost of all the sarees? Totally, how many sarees he purchased? Twenty five sarees he purchased. Is this equation clear? This is the first fourteen sarees. Next it is the next eleven sarees. Total sarees he purchased is twenty five. This is based on session number two. Denominator digital sum is seven. Multiplied by four, numerator and denominator. Eight plus three, eleven. Eleven plus five, sixteen. Sixteen, it is seven. So only thing, make every value into digital sum. Seven into fourteen digital sum is five. Six forty-five. Six plus four, ten. Ten plus five, fifteen. Fifteen, it is six. Into eleven digital sum is two. In two four, are you all with me? Twenty five four is our hundred. Digital sum will be one. If the denominator digital sum is seven, make multiplied by numerator and denominator. So seven five is our thirty five, which is eight. Six two is our twelve, which is three. In two four, eight plus three eleven. Eleven in two four. Forty-four. Answer: Digital sum should be eight. Answer: Digital sum should be eight. Seven plus five, twelve. Twelve plus six, eighteen. Two plus four, it is six. Four plus four, eight. Eight plus seven, fifteen. Fifteen plus six, twenty-one. Twenty-seven, twenty-eight. Anywhere, am I getting eight? Seven plus three, ten. Ten plus four, fourteen. Fourteen plus three. Seventeen, seventeen plus four, twenty-one. Two plus one, three. Now let us do one by one any calculation mistake. Eight thirty-five digital sum is eight plus three, eleven. Eleven plus five, sixteen. Sixteen it is five. This is right. Fourteen digital sum is five. This is also right. Six forty-five. Six plus four, ten. Ten plus five, fifteen. Fifteen it is six. 
into 2 11 it is 2 into 4 till here it is perfect 7 5s are 35 35 plus 12 47 47 into 4 47 i think then i did a mistake here 47 47 4 plus 7 11 11 it is digital sum 2 no mistake 2 fours are 8 answer digital sum should be 8 whatever the digital sum which will give you 8 that itself will be the answer any where option is there 7 plus 5 12 12 plus 1 13 13 plus 4 17 1 plus 7 8 i hope it is clear no calculation mistake it is no calculation mistake don't do it again recheck if the denominator digital sum is 7 multiply the numerator and denominator by 4 7 kg of tea costing 280 per kg Every kg is 280 rupees. 7 kgs I bought. I mixed with. So addition. 9 kgs of tea costing 240 per kg. Each is 240. Total I bought 16 kgs. Total I bought 16 kgs. This answer we have to do. Avoid using calculation. Avoid using calculation. 7 into 280 plus 9 into 240 by 16. 16 digital sum is 7. Multiply the numerator and denominator by 4. Multiply the numerator and denominator. 9 into any number. It is 9. 9 plus any number. Answer digital sum will not change. 280 digital sum is 1 into 4. 7 4s are 28. 2 plus 8 is 10. 1 plus 0 1. Answer digital sum should be 1. Answer digital sum should be 1. These 2. It cannot be. 2 plus 5 7. 7 plus 7 14. 14 plus 5 19. It can be. Answer is 256 7.50. How beautifully you can solve even arithmetic related problems. If you know the concept of digital sum, digital sum session number 1 is fundamentals, session number 2 is application of digital sum in number system related problems, session number 3 is how you can eliminate all incorrect answer options by using digital sum concept. I hope the idea it is clear. Next question. From a monthly income, only thing you have to read the question sir. From a monthly income. 24 percentage is spent on household expenses. 24 out. 16 percentage on entertainment. 24 plus 16, 40 percentage out. 28 percentage on education. 68 percentage out. What is remaining? 32 percentage. 32 percentage is remaining. Okay. Out of remaining, in that 32 percentage, he donated 72 percentage amount. In that remaining 32 percentage, 72 percentage he donated. So what is left over? 28 percentage is left over. Finally, how much is the amount? 2403.52. What is his monthly income? He got a monthly income, 24 percentage household, 16 percentage entertainment, 40, 28 percentage education, 68 percentage is the spending, remaining how much? 32. In that 32, 72 percentage he gave for donation, remaining how much? 28. Remaining amount is 2403.52. 2 plus 4, 6, 6 plus 3, 9, 5 plus 2, 7. These 1, these 3 plus 2, 5 into 5 equivalent to 7. P into 5 into 1, which is 7. P into 5 into 7, which is 7. Now, substitute the answer option. 7 plus 2, 9 out. 5 plus 4, 9 out. 2 5s are 10. 10 it is 1, but I require 7, no. 2 plus 5 plus 2 out. 6 plus 8, 14. 14 is 5. 5 fives are 25. 2 plus 5, 7. Everything can be solved. Just you can say that few answer options are incorrect by using digital sum. By using digital sum. Idea is to give you a glimpse of various questions. A population of a town is increased by 7 percentage. 100. It has increased by 7, 107 at the end of first year. 
decreased by 6 percentage, 100, 6 decrease, 94 by 100, again increased by 3 percentage, 103 by 100. Finally, the population is 566522, 3819, 3819. Initial value, how much it is? Initial value, how much? Very, very easy question. Seems like an IAFT big quant question, but actually it's a very easy question. Initial value into 8 into 4 into 4 divided by 1 equivalent to 9 out, 8 plus 1 out, next one. 5 plus 5, 10. 10 plus 6, 16. 16 plus 2, 18. 6 plus 2, 8. 8 plus 3, 11. 11 is 2. 4, 4 is 16. 16 is 7. 7, 8 is 56, which is 2. Initial value into 2 is 2. Substitute the answer option. Whatever the answer option that will give, that itself is the answer. 5 plus 2 plus 2 over 6 plus 5, 11. 11 is 2. 2, 2 is 4. Not possible. 11, 15, 17, 22. 2 plus 2, 4. Like that, substitute the answer option. Wherever it will give a digital sum. Suppose 5 plus 4, 9. 6 plus 8, 14. 14 plus 5, 19. 19 it is 1. 1, 2 is 2. So, the answer for this question is D. Answer for this question is D. All arithmetic problems. Rita <coughs> invests in mutual fund a sum of 5,59,968. Okay. She invested this money. What is the 19 percentage of her annual income? 19 percentage of her annual income. Annual income. Totally, whatever the amount that she earns from the annual 12 months income, out of that 19 percentage she donated, or sorry, she invested in the mutual funds. What is her monthly income? Now see here, 5,59,000. 968. Monthly income is nothing, but if I call it as I, annual income is 12 into monthly income. 12 into monthly income. These are previous year examination questions, sir. So, 9, 9 out. 5 plus 5, 10. 10 plus 6, 16. 16 plus 8, 24. 24 is 6. 19, it is 1. 12, it is 3. Into monthly income. Into monthly income. 6 equivalent to 1 into 3 into monthly income. Now, tell me, what can be the digital sums? Of monthly income when multiplied by 3, I will get 6. Can it be 2? What is 3? 2s are 6. Can it be 8? Can it be 8? 3 8s are 24. 6. Can it be 5? Yes. 3 options I got. Answers can have digital sum. 2, 8 or 5. 3 2s are 6, 3 8s are 24, 3 5s are 15. So monthly incomes can have digital sum 2, 8 or 5. 7 not possible, 9 not possible, 8 possible, 1 not possible. Oh, only one option is there. This is an original exam question, sir. This is an original exam question. Richa invests in mutual funds and amount of 5,59,968. She invested in mutual fund, which is 19 percentage of the annual income. Annual income is 12 times the monthly income because in an year, it is of 12 months. 19 percentage of 12 into monthly income. I just took the digital sum. I just took the digital sum. Next one. The marked price of a ceiling fan. There is a price which is marked on the ceiling fan. The price is 3250. And the shopkeeper allows a discount of. The shopkeeper allows a discount of. 8% on it. What do you mean by discount? The price marked on the product, it is 100. My friend came. I sold them at 8 rupees less. Discount is the is nothing but I am losing money on an marked price. If I lose money on the cost price, that is a loss. So that means the 
initial value is 3250 on 100 my friend came i gave a discount of 8 so it is 92 apply digital sum apply digital sum in discount i told you already in discount initial value is marked price final value is selling price initial value is marked price final value is selling price 3 plus 2 5 5 plus 5 10 10 is 1 92 digital sum is 2 by 1 2 2 by 1 2 by 1 answer see here answer digital sum should be 2 answer digital sum should be 2 9 plus 9 out answer these 2 answer it is 2 3250 into 98 3250 into 98 even if you solve it like this 3000 plus 250 into 92 it is 2760 plus so 2590 it is out 250 can be written as 1000 by 4 into 92 1000 by 4 into 92 so from here it is 92000 divided from there 200 by 4 so uh, uh, 2000 by 4 so 200 200 something I will get so which is 2990 best is a digital sum best is a digital sum I hope the idea it is clear keep an eye on answer options always on 32508 I lost it so 92 by 100 5 plus 5 10 1 into 2 2 numerator is always the final value which is the sorry new Denominator, it is the initial value. Numerator, it is the final value. Final value only I require. Selling price, the digital sum should be 2. A value of a motorcycle depreciates. Depreciates, it is nothing but dip, decrease. That means, on 100, it is decreasing by 4, 96. On 100, it is decreasing by 4, 96. What will be its value after two years? Final value, I don't know. But the present value is 75,000. Is it clear? Present value is 75,000. 4 percentage decrease, 96 by 100. Again, 4 percentage decrease, 96 by 100. Denominator, it is 1. 75, digital sum is 3. Here it is 6, here it is 6. Final value, digital sum should be 9. Final value, digital sum should be 9. Which option it is 9? Which option it is 9? Now see here, this is... 6 this is 1 it is not possible it is not possible the next one it is now see here <coughs> 3 into 6 into 6 3 into 6 into 6 now if you see here 75000 into 96 three zeros three if you are stuck here it is 75 into 96 into 9.6 now see, 75 is divisible by 3. 75 is divisible by 3. Are the both divisible by 3? Yes. 96 is divisible by 4. Are both of them divisible by 4? Yes. Then we have to use the concept of, now see here. A plus B plus AB by 100 is always greater than A plus B percentage. Do you agree? AB by 100. A percentage and B percentage. If both are increasing, or what we will do is, why to discuss that method right now? We will use alternative method. We will use alternative method. We are able to eliminate only two options. Only two options where the digital sum is not matching. So finally what we got, let us see. 75 into 96 into 96 divided by 3 zeros cancel, it is 10. 96 whole square is 9312. 75 into 9312 divided by 10. Are you all with me? So these are nothing but 300 by 4 into 9312 
divided by 10. Calculate it, that itself is the answer. I hope it is clear. I don't want to use a successive percentage right now. 75 into 96 into 96 by 10. 96 whole square, sorry. 90, oh, I made a calculation mistake. 96 whole square is 9216. We already discussed 96 minus 4 into 96 plus 4. Plus 4 square, 75 into 9216 divided by 10. 515s are 52s are 246 and 208. So even if I take 4600, 4600 how much it will give? 69000 something I am getting. So the answer is 69120. 69,120. I hope the idea it is clear. 75 into 96 into 96 by 10. 96 square is 9216. 9216. 9216 by 10. 515s are 52s are 24608. It is closer to 15 into 4600, which is closer to 169,000. Answer should be closer to 169,000. Idea is clear. I don't want to get into successive percentage logic right now. Successive percentage logic right now. Find the simple interest on principal. Principal is 3,81,500. In 5 years, okay, at the rate of 8.375 by 100, that means on hun for 5 years, every year the rate is 8.375, 8.37 by percentage. It is simple interest. In simple interest, rate of interest remains the same every year. Rate of interest remains the same every year. First year it is 8.375. Second year it is 8.374. 5 years it is 5 into 8.375. What is the these simple interest? What is the digital sum? 8 plus 1 cancel. 5 plus 3, 8 into 5. 7 plus 3, 10, 18 into 5 divided by 100. 8 fives are 40, 40 fives are 200. Simple interest. Digital sum should be 2. Simple interest, digital sum should be two. Simple interest is quite simple, just a substitution only, sir. First year it is 8.375. Second year it is 8.374. Five years it is 5 into 8.375. So if I eliminate, it is 1. If I eliminate, for example, 7 plus 2. Next one. 1 plus 6 is 7. 7 plus 5, 12. 18. Eliminate the answer options. 3 plus 6. 5 plus 4. It is 10 plus 5. 9. Next one it is 1 plus 5, 6. 13. 18. 3 plus 1, 4. Answer digital sum is 2. I hope the ideas are very, very clear. Now, a number when it is increased by 22 percentage. 122 increase, it is 122, 122, okay, and added, if a number is X, increased by 22, 1.22, added to 5827.12, it becomes 121076.5, I hope it is, why it is X into 1.22, I hope it is clear. Increased by 22 percentage. If it is X, increased by 10 percentage is 1.1. Increased by 22 is 1.22. Now see here. 7 plus 2, 9 out. 11, 12, 13. 13 is 4. 7 plus 2, 9. These 5 plus 8, 13, 15, 16. 16 is 7 plus X into 5. 5x equivalent to minus 3. Minus 3 is 6. Answer, when you multiply by 5, it should give 6. 9 out. 7 plus 6 plus 5 out. 8 plus 4 is 12. 12 is 3. 3 fives are 15. 1 plus 5, 6. 
1 plus 5, 6. I hope this question, somebody has sent this question as a doubt. Even this question, this is not the doubt. This is a very easy question. These also can be done by using speed calculation, by using digital sum. This is taken from the previous year papers. This is a ratio based question. This is from weighted average. This is the doubt which was asked. I think it is SSC CGL original question, sir. It is 1623. Yes. Please check it out. I am not sure about the year. Should be 2018. Or 2017. I am not sure. I hope each and every model. It is clear to you. Every model. The idea in which you are solving arithmetic.